and welcome to the Adventures of Siberia. We are playing Space Engineers. And I am super stoked to present to you guys the Duelist Survival Rover. That's right guys, one of my latest builds here. I am so excited. I am completely in love with this rover. Please allow me to dive right in and show you what I am talking about. So. This rover was built with the beginning stages of the game in mind um, to facilitate the whole initial setup where you have to go gather some stone and gather some ice and all of that kind of stuff to maybe speed up that whole entire process was the main idea here. So um, when this was originally built, it was built at the South Pole of Mars, a very similar area to this with a lot of snow on the ground. So, this vehicle comes equipped with some lovely drills. Now, the drills are attached to hinges right here, and uh, they go down to about a 20 degree angle, and they are perfectly able to scrape uh, the ground. Uh, so in this case here, we would be collecting a lot of ice. If I just drove up that way over there, I can just uh, stock up on some stone. It comes with a large cargo container. So you can either process that stone into your survival kit here, um, or you can process that ice. You have two hydrogen generators right over here, one behind the cockpit, so that you are fueled as soon as you jump into the cockpit. Another one right here behind the oxygen tank, also needed for your survival. We have three different um, hydrogen engines so that we can repower our battery. We have four small hydrogen tanks, one, two. Um, underneath these blocks here, there's two more. I don't know if you can see it through there. Yeah, you see right there? Uh, so we have another two. Um, and they are, you know, it's very easy to refuel them, stock them up, and then you can run your hydrogen engines uh, just to go. Um, so it comes equipped with an antenna, an ore detector, to make your life a little easier. You have three gyroscopes, and if you notice, mine is set to override. The reason is, if we go right in here, let me go ahead and get my HUD up. Um, I have placed a script here called DAS Driver Assist System. Now, I am definitely going to go ahead and post the link to this script on the description of this video, but the main thing that it does is it will balance out your wheels so that all of them are touching the ground, getting the most amount of grip, getting the most, uh, just basically getting the most out of your vehicle when it comes to driving. Um, it also plays with your gyros. Let's say you go over a bump. Um, what it does is it tries to level you out so you always land flat on your wheels. It's a very good script if you like going fast and, uh, you know, check it out. Um, I will definitely talk about more uh, of this script in, in, in the future here. So let me go ahead and jump into the cockpit here. Now we have our handbrake on number one. We have our connector on number three. One of the cool things that I have here that I absolutely love and um, it, it's like I said, these drills, number five is my uh, my hinge lock. Number six will bring the drills down. There you go. And number seven will turn them on. Or sorry, they're set to uh, left click on this one. You can set it up to turn it on and off and stuff. So you collect ice that way. Uh, just bring your drills back up. Lock your hinges. You're golden, ready to go. On number eight, we have a recharge on and off on the batteries. And then number nine, we have control to our engines. Now, with the engines on, we are getting about seven years worth of power. And I'm gonna do a quick little drive here just to demonstrate how these are set up. So let's go ahead and go for a little spin. So when I am pushing forward, I have this rover set up to go super fast. All of the wheels are uh, set up to... Um, so when you hold C, it speeds your... It increases your speed limit with the, with the script here, the uh, auto assist. And you can go all the way up to 
uh, 100. I am holding C down in order to get this speed. As soon as I let go of C, it will just maintain that speed, and as soon as I let go, it'll just drop it and go back to a safe one. Um, also, that is one of the things that it does. Very, very awesome, keeps you nice and steady. So my number four button here, what it does is it turns on my wheels, on and off, the three by three wheels here in the back. And uh, what that does is it allows me to drive a lot cheaper. So for instance, I can literally turn my batteries, number eight there, to recharge and just keep driving. And look at that, my power just keeps going. I am good to go. I will drive at a slower speed doing this. However, I'm saving a lot of power saving uh, in the long run here. Like I said, this is a survival rover. So guys, I am super excited about this. Also, the two solar panels here just to help out with a little extra power. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for checking out the Duelist Survival Rover. The blueprint for the Steam Workshop will obviously be on the description of the video for your convenience. Guys, I always appreciate you guys watching me. Please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I would love to let you know next time I got some insane builds coming up. Have a great one. Thanks so much for joining the Adventures of Siberia. Bye bye now.